like you scared to put on your hoodie. Man, my Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Packers and the Seahawks and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the Pacific Northwest, the home of the 12s and they are in full war as you get a look inside Lumen Field in Seattle. Coming up in a divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Green Bay Packers and the Seattle Seahawks. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they're hot. Here come the Seahawks in their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. And a look here at their signal caller, the fifth-year quarterback. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Escapes the sack. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Love his pocket awareness, able to slip out of the sack. But once you take your eyes off the receivers, once your eyes come down and you see the rush, hard to get back downfield and find an open target. Fortunate, that one just wound up as an incomplete pass. To throw on third down, Brown. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's not often that you'll find offensive and defensive guys that'll agree on much, but one place they find common ground, you've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play moving it downfield. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. They run it with Carson. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Back to throw. Brown. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Seahawks are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, and now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning it into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and they've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ballgame. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. They'll start out on the ground with Carson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. That was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of the 
attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Here's Brown to throw on second down. Man open downfield, it's Metcalf. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's Carson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Looking to throw. Brown, oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. But what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now Brown to throw on third down. And incomplete on the deep ball. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense and now they get to turn it back to their offense. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they start in the best of all positions. First and goal. They force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He already with a couple of touchdown throws in this first half as his guys start first and 10. Let's go now. Alert. Alert. Let's go. They'll begin the drive with Carson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Brown looking to throw on second down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch in these playoffs. This is Carson, 
And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. To throw on second down, Brown. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Carson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They run again with Carson. He lost four there, and it's third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Let's go. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. It's Carson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him off the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They go back to Carson here on second. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. down. Carson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, this guy them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. Touchdown! DK Metcalf on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Seahawks go up by two touchdowns. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to 7. Yeah, very impressive the way that they've moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. comes this field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. And how about the start so far, Charles? Three first-half touchdown passes. And that's how you generate excitement on a team. 
keep your offense moving at a really high oh. level. And it's also how you establish leadership by playing that well. Three touchdown passes, that's the way to lead. Now he's just hoping for number four. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Noah Finn from 17 yards out. And the Seahawks continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder and harder to defend because now it's elite athletes playing that position, not just the big guys who can block. How about his ability to get downfield and make plays against any defense? their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's been unstoppable in this first half. Four touchdown passes on the ledger already. Closing in on the all-time record in the first half, by the way, which is six touchdown passes as this drive starts first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This the first of four Divisional Round matchups coming up this weekend. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other Divisional Round game in the NFC. And it looks like we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys matching up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And on now to a check on the next-gen stats in that first half for the Packers. And they've definitely been able to exploit some holes in that opposing secondary, as they threw for close to 200 yards in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, we check out their numbers on the ground, as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put okay, together ready. some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Looking to throw. Brown. That's DK Metcalf running the slant. He's got it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Brown now to throw on second down. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 45-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Hey, 
So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Up the middle they go. Carson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Brown on third down. This went into the hands of Metcalf. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 30. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Carson. Room here to run. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 54 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Carson. Not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Back to throw. Brown. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Seahawks take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And nobody in the stadium feels better than he does right now. Just a slew of touchdown passes. He's been spectacular. And you and I both know this is a team game, one of the best team games that's out there. But right now, I've forgotten what the scoreboard even says. Just watching what he's doing. It's been fun. 
That's, that's, that's been mesmerizing and a whole lot of fun to watch. He's hoping to keep it going here in the third quarter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Brown. Over the middle. That's caught by Metcalf. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle they go. Carson, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Carson, and this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Now Brown to throw on third down. They'll find Metcalf. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that wall. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Back to throw. Brown. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Devontae Wyatt just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. He had some real defensive resistance there. Said not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and 17. He's got his tight end fan. Touchdown, Seahawks! Noah Fant with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are moving closer to a date now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. And a decisive advantage became even more decisive. They already had the win in hand, but they keep pressing the tempo and they pile on with another touchdown reception. Would you consider that touchdown a reward to all the tight ends on their roster for their effort today? Not just running their routes, but all the time they spent in the trenches, laying down blocks, doing the little things to help that offense succeed. And for doing all of that, they definitely want one of their tight ends to get a touchdown to really seal this blowout. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And it would appear that that first round by certainly helped. They've looked fresh from the start and no letdown here as they lead big in this divisional round and they look to book a spot in the conference championship. On 
first down. It's Carson, and only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, it, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 80 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. Well, you know me, Paul. I never tend to back off being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, this one is stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Up the middle they go. It's Carson, and the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Seahawks start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. again getting ready to take over offensively well they don't really need the points here Charles given what we're looking at on the scoreboard but they've scored on three consecutive possessions three consecutive drives and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on and things have gotten that way in the NFL haven't they partner because in the old days people would you know they get off the gas a little bit right but now People continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Parker, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do. But I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, 
you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. The Seahawks, they are moving on as we say so long, everybody.